Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to revert back to Windows 11 version 23H2 if version 24H2 is causing issues or the new version just isn't for you. You can remove version 24H2 and roll back to 23H2 in at least two ways. If you recently upgraded your computer to version 23H2 and it hasn't been more than 10 days, you can uninstall the new version using the settings app. Now, if it's been more than 10 days, that option won't be available but you can still roll back to 23H2, but you will have to use a clean installation. It is important that you have a backup of your computer and your files before proceeding, as the uninstall process can always go wrong, even though it is a non-destructive process. However, if you use the clean installation option, then that option will erase everything on the computer. Okay, let's look at steps to uninstall version 24H2 and roll back to version 23H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, for the first method, we're going to try to uninstall version 24H2 if you recently upgraded your computer. And for this, we're going to use the settings app. First, open start and look for settings. Then open the app. Then go to system, scroll down and go to recovery. Now, if the computer still has a backup of the previous installation, you will see that this option is available. So to start the process to roll back to the previous version of Windows 11, click the go back button. Then click the next button. Click the no thanks button. It is important to know that when you roll back, you may have to reinstall some applications and you might lose some of the changes that you have made after the upgrade. And now click the next button. Now, if you use a different password on a previous version of Windows, make sure to remember it. Otherwise, you won't be able to log in on your computer. Now, if you're using a Microsoft account, that might not be an issue. Now click next. And this button might be different on your computer. However, and now to complete the process, we just need to click the go back to earlier build button right here. Now, I don't need to roll back in this computer, so I'm just going to click the cancel button. However, when you click the button to proceed with the rollback, the computer is going to restart and the process will start. And then after a few reboots, it might take a few minutes and then you should be back on the previous version, which in this case will be the 23H2. Now, if the option to remove the upgrade, which is this one right here, is not available, then the only way to revert or downgrade to version 23H2 will be doing a clean installation, but you will have to use the installation media that contains the previous version of the operating system, which Microsoft no longer offers, but we can still use a workaround. And that's where we're going to look right now. Now, if you have to download an older version of Windows 11, we're going to have to use this website. First, open your web browser and open this site. Then from the main page, click on Windows 11, download version 23H2. Then from here, we're going to choose the latest build available. And you want to use the x64 version unless you have an ARM device. For Intel and AMD, select x64 and then click on the latest build available. Choose the installation language and click next. Then choose the edition that you want that ISO file to include. Usually you just want to use Windows Home and Pro, which is already pre-selected and then click next. Here, you need to choose the download and convert to ISO option. And this is important. Make sure to check the include updates and run the components cleanup options. And then click the create download package and then save that file to your computer. Then open the location where you downloaded the file. Double click to open it and click the extract button. Then click the extract button again. Now, it is important to know that we didn't download the ISO. Instead, we just downloaded the scripts to download the installation files from the Microsoft servers. And then, then this tool will create a custom Windows 11 ISO, which in this case is for version 23H2. Then in here, we need to right click the UUP download windows.cmd file and then select the run as administrator option. Now we're going to allow the script by typing R and press enter. Now the tool is going to download all the necessary files and then it will create a custom Windows 11 version 23H2 ISO file. And this is going to take some time. After the script, 
finishes downloading the files and creating a ISO file, you're going to get a screen like this. And then you just simply need to press zero to exit the script. And then you're going to end up with an ISO file inside of the folder where you have all the scripts that you downloaded from UUP dump. From here, you can rename this and specify a name like win11 underscore 23h2. You can put the date if you want. Otherwise, just press enter. Now, there are multiple ways to perform a clean installation of Windows 11, but I'm going to show you the easiest way so you can roll back as quickly as possible to version 23h2. And the option that I'm going to show you is the one that mounts the ISO into File Explorer to go through the setup process that way. And to do that, just open File Explorer where you have that version 23H2 ISO and then just right click on it and select the mount option. And then you're going to see that the mount on the left navigation pane. And from here, we can just right click the setup.exe file and then select the run as administrator option. Before we continue, let's open start and I'm just going to look for the run command and I'm going to use the winver command so you can see that right now I'm running version 24H2 and I'm going to clear this option. Sometimes you want to download updates during the installation process, but sometimes that might cause issues and it's going to take longer. For this video, I'm just going to select this option to escape the updates, but there should not be an issue if you choose to download updates and drivers. Then click next. Click the accept button. And to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 23H2 on a computer already running version 24H2, make sure to choose the nothing option. And because we are downgrading the operating system, the only option that should be available should be nothing. But if the other options for some reason are available, make sure to choose the nothing option and then click next. We just need to click the install button to downgrade the system from 24H2 to 23H2. And remember that we actually perform an installation of Windows 11, so you're going to have to go through the initial setup of Windows 11. Now, the installation process can take some time, but it will depend on your hardware configuration. Now, after the installation, we need to complete the out-of-box experience. And first, we're going to select the region, and then we're going to click Yes. Now, we're going to select the keyboard layout, and then we're going to click Yes. We're going to skip this option. Now, you can always do this later, but it's recommended that you choose a name for your computer, something that is scripted to your device. When you click Next, the computer should restart automatically. Now, if your computer uses Wi-Fi, you will have to make that connection manually. You will have a page during the process to do that. This computer is connected directly using a wire connection. So the configuration for the network happens automatically. Now I'm using Windows 11 Pro. So I have also this page that allows me to configure the computer for home or for a work network. But if you're using Windows 11 Home, you're not going to see this page. Now, if you happen to use Windows 11 Pro, select Setup for Personal Use and then click the Next button. Then click the sign in option. Now, I understand that a lot of people don't like to use a Microsoft account to create an account for Windows 11, but this video is to show you how the process to install Windows 11 works. If you want to set up your computer with a local account, please check the link in the video description that includes a video on how to bypass this requirement. And here I'm just going to sign in with my Microsoft account. And now we're going to click the next button. I'm using the Authenticator app, so I'm going to use my phone to authenticate. Now, from this page, you can restore some of your apps, settings, credentials, and files from a previous installation. And you can only restore files if you were using the OneDrive service. Otherwise, you have to restore your files from a previous backup. If you want to use this option, just click continue and make sure that the computer name is the same as the one that you had before to make sure that you're restoring the correct apps, settings, and credentials. Now, if you're not sure or you don't want to use this option, just click the more options link. And then we're just going to use the setup as a new PC option. And then we're going to click the setup as a new PC option one more time. Now we're going to create a pen to sign in.
Now make sure to go through your privacy settings and whatever you don't like from this list, you can disable it and then click the accept button. Now on this page, you can tell the operating system how you're going to be using the computer. So the system will show you personal tips, ads, and other types of recommendations, but you can skip this option. I'm going to skip the option to link the phone to your PC. We're going to skip this option too. Click the not now option. We're going to skip this promotion. That's it. Now we're back into Windows 11 version 23H2. You can check by going to start, looking for settings. And then on the app, we can go to system, about. And then you're going to see that we're on version 23H2. One thing that you want to make sure to do is just go to Windows Update and make sure to download all the available updates. And do not turn this on because that might trigger the upgrade to version 24H2. Now, another tip is to go to Advanced Options and make sure to go to Optional Updates and download any available drivers that might be required for your computer. You can also check if you're missing any drivers by going to device manager. And then from here, confirm that none of the components on your computer require a driver update. You're going to notice that because you're going to see labels that might appear as missing, unknown, or you might see them with a yellow or red icon. Now you will have to restore your files from backup and reinstall any of the applications that you had before. And that's it. Those are the two ways that you can use to roll back to the previous version of Windows 11. In this case, from version 24H2 to version 23H2. It is important to know that you should not skip a new version entirely. Remember that version 23H2 will eventually retire and you will have to upgrade to the latest version to keep your computer supported. Let me know in the comments what were your issues with version 24H2 that makes you switch back to version 23H2. Also, let me know in the comments what type of content you would like to see in the channel. And just remember to like the video, share it. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.